In this week's vlog, I'm going to teach you how to take photos of fire and have a crazy photo shoot planned while holding a blazing newspaper. I'm gonna run to the store quickly to buy some fire lighters and newspapers for the day. So we're all set, everything is ready, I've got the fire lighters, I've got a light and the camera is ready. So how do you actually take a photo of a fire? Most people grab the camera, put it in auto mode, point and shoot. And as you can see, that photo doesn't look too great. The flash turning on of the camera ruins the photo and overexposes the brick background. So what you want to do is you want to set it to aperture mode if you have, or you can set it to manual. Keep your ISO fixed at 100. Put your aperture in the middle range, around 11 to 14, and let the shutter speed vary. And that photo came out great. The aperture is f11, ISO 100, and the shutter speed 1 over 30. You get a very detailed image of the fire, but let's say you don't get the whole mood of your environment. Maybe you want to bring in a little bit more of the background. That's when you set up and you put the ISO up to 200, so it lights it up slightly and you get more of that ambiance, that feel of the environment around you. And as you can see, by increasing the ISO, you get a sharper feel of the background. Was that newspaper burning and those shots. I'm going to show you the actual properly edited ones afterwards. Those are just before edits. I'll show you the after edits ones at the end but I'm quickly going to go out with my little brother to the mountains to take some cool photos with the background and there's an abandoned little building there. I'm going to take some cool photos there. Then we're going to head straight into the photo shoot and then I'll show you my whole editing process and how I edit the photos and the final results at the end. See you guys now. So we just got back from the photo shoots in the mountains and I think there's some really sick photos. So I'm quickly going to set the camera down and set up the scene and get straight into it. No, I don't think you're here to stay, no, no, no. I just want to be with you. Okay, so I've got the whole scene set up and it's all ready. And as you flip it around, I've got a bucket of water there, and I've got a bucket of water there, and an open window just in case. So if anything goes wrong, we can just throw out the newspaper. Let's go. Don't try this at home, kids. Here is a quick time lapse of the editing process. If you want a more detailed edit, please leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I'll end it off with the before and after of the photo.
Look down. You must tell me when you're ready to stop. Okay, look. Go away. Look down. What you want, tell me how you want it Tell me all the reasons that you're running away I don't think you're here to stay No, I don't think you're here to stay No, no, no I just wanna be with you I just wanna be with you Yeah I just wanna